All right, what is up you guys? It's your boy C.A. Corey, back with another video. So, here we have the car right here. I thought about doing something different today because I feel like, you know, the coolest POVs are the ones where they start outside. So I figure, and you know, I never gave you guys a proper tour. I found this spot, this is an undisclosed location. Can't tell you guys because it's the best spot to film. So, <laughs> and it's peaceful. But here's the car, I got it right here. This will probably be the thumbnail. <laughs> but this is the car, this is the front. So for those who don't know, this is custom right here, C8 Corey. Custom as well. My favorite part is the wheels actually. So for those who don't know, I got 35% on the front, 5% on the sides. I like this because it gives you a stealth look. Like people can't really see you, you know? Nobody can see you when you're got the top down privacy, got the top on privacy, custom as well. Um, and yeah, I just, I like all my builds to be OEM plus. Every build I have is OEM plus right now. And then I'll show you guys, everyone's favorite part of the car is the back. Everybody loves the back of the car because it looks super aggressive. Full custom kit on the bottom, just super, super aggressive. No, I don't drive around like that. It's just a custom plate. I put it on for the video because I knew I was going to do this today. So this is the only reason why I put it on. But yeah, I'm going to get some more convertible POVs because I realized that I filmed a lot of POVs but I never really have the top down. So I figured I'd start doing that and probably get some dope reactions too. Um, I'm gonna be in Miami next week, so I'm gonna film some more POVs doing that. I watched the car yesterday and of course, is that bird poop? Oh no, it's a leaf, okay. But yeah, every time I watch the car, a bird poops on it literally the same day. So, <laughs> but yeah, this is the car. Looks really clean. I'm telling you, it's one of the cleanest C8s in Florida. And I'm not just saying that just to kind of brag or anything, but I literally took my time with this build. I didn't want it to be one where it felt like, you know, it was too much or I didn't want it to feel like it was a race car. I like everything to be OEM plus. So how the car is, is how you guys are gonna see it. And yeah, man, the kit just, you know, the car itself was already sick, but the kit itself just makes it look even crazier. So. Yeah, we're probably going to hop in. I'm probably going to do another highway drive. I actually like the highway drives because especially on Sundays, you get a lot of people who are willing to uh, bring out their nice cars and, you know, it makes for some good content. So an another thing I really like is these headlights. I was thinking of blacking this out. I've seen, um, I mean, it is kind of black on the headlight, but maybe blacking out this part so it only shows this part of the light. I've been trying to think of different ideas. But don't you hate when you go to the car wash and their towels like come off on all the emblems and stuff? Hate that. But yeah, man, this is the car for people that have been asking. Everyone's like, yo, you keep filming these POVs but not showing the car itself. I'm like, oh, damn. <laughs> or I've shown pictures of it but haven't really shown the car itself like that. So yeah, man, I absolutely love this car. There's nothing I would change about it. Oh, and a, a ton of people love my steering wheel as well custom steering wheel if you guys want the link for that let me know i'll give you guys the link to who i got it from but yeah man and i honestly love this spot a lot of trucks come here to drop off their loads on that side but i like here because it's so chill and i think this this strip like people could walk all the way around so it's really really nice and you can walk on that bridge as well so yeah man it's just a sunday it's a calm Sunday. It's funny. I actually never come out on Sundays. On Sundays is like my lazy day. Um, sometimes I'll just, you know, prepare for the week, make sure I got everything set up. So I'm ready to go Monday morning. But today, you know, everything I've done was finished. So I was like, damn, I'm finished kind of early. I'm kind of bored sitting at home. Let me just come out real quick. I was supposed to go to the supercar Sundays meet today, but I don't really feel like going. <laughs> I got up late and like you guys know how it is. Once you get up late, it's like, is it even worth driving and going there? So yeah, this is the car, man. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts on the car. Let me know if I should change anything. But yeah, I'm going to keep it as is for now. But yeah, we're going to hop in the car. I'm going to take off that plate. And we might just do a quick little highway POV.
So stay tuned, guys. All right, you guys, so we got the car behind me. We're probably about to start this POV in a few. Um, I'm thinking of doing a highway drive. Might go down to Las Olas. Might even film on Las Olas, too. I'm trying to get a 360 cam soon, so we're definitely going to get that started. The POV is about to be going crazy. I'm, the content is going to get crazier. The quality is going to get crazier. We already got the GoPro Hero 12, 4K quality every time for these POVs. You know how we do. So stay tuned, guys. Also, before I leave, let's do a little cold start. I haven't even, the car's been sitting here for like a minute. I've been here for like 20, 30 minutes. So I'm going to just put the phone down and set it up.
trying to play it. Some of these 4 Series look pretty nice too. I've seen some of the 4 Series done really, really good, and they look amazing. I think the guy in the Mustang just had his girl filming for me. Appreciate you guys. If both of you guys seen this video, I appreciate you guys, for real. I think too, um, a lot of CA drivers don't really drive like me. Like, everyone is either, like much older, so they kind of like chill, you know? But we trying to get some good content, and why am I gonna sit behind 60 people when I could just cut up? Where's the music at, man? question for you guys so based on just luxury vehicles only would you take a Rolls Royce or would you take an S-Class because S-Class is very comfortable anybody that's ever driven or been in the back of an S-Class those cars are comfy as hell so on this car are insane oh my gosh oh my gosh yeah i'm 
trying to get longer videos too, man. I feel like, you know, I'm good at getting those 10, 15 minute videos, but those 20, 30, 40 minute videos, I'm like, damn, how do people do it sometimes? And it's true, cause like sometimes you don't really want to talk, but at the same time, you don't want the video to be boring cause then people are just gonna skip through the parts that they want, you know? So, I don't know. You just gotta find what works and stick to it, honestly. Once you find something that works, stick to it. Damn, I can't, I've been in manual this whole time. That's so crazy. <laughs> I want to give that guy a dollar or something. Do something right to people, man. Let's see, let's see. Can I make a left here? Nah, I got to go up a little bit more. I want to make sure to give that guy a dollar, man, at least. Never know what people are going through. And this is not just because it's... I'm filming, I swear, I swear on everything. This is literally how I am constantly. I'm like, oh, let me give that guy a dollar. Let me give that person a dollar because it could literally be you, you know? Something could happen and it could literally be you that is homeless, so. Or if you have kids someday, right? Your kid could be homeless and you would want somebody to make sure that your kid is good, so. I'm not gonna lie though, one thing I can't stand in Florida Oh, I can't even make a U-turn here. Damn. I don't understand this. Why can't you just make an easy U-turn, but then this car's come from now? Yeah. I get it. I get it. It's like, damn, bro. I want to give that guy a dollar or something, man. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to try to go back that way, though. I want to just pop a quick you, bro, because I want to turn this on me. Let me turn it here real quick. Because if I don't, I'm never going to be able to make this freaking U-turn, bro. Oh, everything got to be on an angle, bro, especially right here. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a long video. And there's always cops around here. It's so crazy though because it's a good area and all that. That's, uh, I'm always so confused as to why there's so much cops, but, but it's always cops around here. It's so funny. Like once you start filming with the GoPro, like it becomes so normal to you. Like I don't even feel weird <laughs> with it on my head no more. And this is probably like my second month filming POVs and all that stuff. When I first did this though, I was like, bro, why am I doing this? I look crazy. I swear. Alright. You guys saw I was I said I was gonna get that guy a dollar, and that's exactly what I'm about to do right now. Honestly. And yeah, for those who are wondering, I actually got off just so I could have some more content and stuff. Cause sometimes the highway drives could be like a little bit boring. So hopefully that guy's there. It's funny though, I barely carry cash as people know, cause not about to rob me, bro. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's give him a dollar, let's give him a dollar, let's go. Let's give him a dollar. Where's he at? Hold on. Where is he at? Oh, there he is. 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 Woo! Mm -hmm. There he is. There he is. You got it, boy. You too. You know? They don't even have to look homeless, bro. Because you never know what people are going through, so. And who knows? He could be a fraud and his car is probably parked in the back somewhere. I don't know. But at the same time, you just got to do what's right. And for those who don't know, money is literally frequency. Right? What you put into the universe is going to come right back to you. I get back to people all the time, which is why I get blessed all the time. <laughs> I tell people this constantly, like people have no idea, but if you literally bless people, they're literally gonna bless you back. So you gotta do what is right.
but yeah, this is definitely gonna be a fun POV to film. Got different angles, different stuff, so be pretty dope. This is a long video, man. I mean, this is a long light right here. Jeez. I just passed the cop. Hopefully he doesn't come. <laughs> yeah, we're back at 95 now. behind each other man I don't understand Today's a very chill day, like it's not much going on, traffic's not crazy, so it's nice today, it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> 
Solas today. I'll probably just take you guys down there just to show you guys around. So let's put it back in the sport mode. Sound the music. All right. Chilling today. That was a nice car. What is that? Is that a Honda? Looks pretty good. For a car in the future, I want to get something different though. I feel like I always get. I've had white cars literally my whole life. I, my first car was silver, and every other car after that has been white. So my next car got to be like green, blue, like something, something bright, something. You know, I seen this Porsche 911 Turbo S. I think it was like a bright green. And I need a convertible. To those who are against convertibles, that's on you. Once you get a convertible, you don't want nothing else. I'm telling you. Once I got a convertible, I'm like, bro, every car after this, R8, right, I need a convertible. <laughs> Lambo, I need a convertible. McLaren, I need a convertible, bro. <laughs> I need a convertible. I don't care, man. A lot of people are like, yo, oh, you gotta get this spec because this spec is faster. And I'll... no, bro, I'm getting what I want. And as long as it makes me happy, because I know for a fact when I'm in Florida, enjoying this good weather with this top down, everyone else gonna be jealous. So, I wish you guys could just hear these burbles in person, man. It's so nuts. But yeah, for real, I really hope you guys could just hear this stuff, bro. It's just different, honestly. It's just different. Some of these guys usually got good prices too on their guys. But yeah, man, every car I get after this got to be convertible. Or the deal has to be so good, like, they, they literally got to be having a crazy discount on the car for me not to get a convertible version. Convertibles cost more, but they look better. Like, especially... If that you're in a hot state, like for example, Florida, right? Why do I want the top on, bro? <laughs> it's a Sunday, it's 80 degrees. Like, why do I want the top on? I need the top off. So, yeah, I'm just gonna honestly enjoy it. <laughs> but yeah, man. And the thing is, you aren't gonna understand it until you get one. Until you get a convertible. All of you guys are still gonna be like, nah, man, I would never get a convertible. Well, I don't care. Soft top, hard top, doesn't matter. Does not matter. But 
But yeah, for real, I honestly love this 5% tint, bro. Like, the fact that no one can see me with the top on, I mean, with the top off is crazy. is going a little bit too slow for me. Oh, I have a funny story time for all of you guys. So this is a Walgreens. Is it this Walgreens? Yeah, this one right here. This is probably my second week in Florida. I came down to Fort Lauderdale to see some friends. And I came to this Walgreens because my car charger for my phone. You guys know how like the end of it will start getting weak and like break off but so i go in there i get a like a two-pack i come outside and these two dudes are arguing and one of the dude pulls out a gun <laughs> i back that car out so quick <laughs> uh thank god this car is quick i backed that car out i was out of there i don't know what happened i don't know if the dude really got shot but i was like this is crazy man i don't know i feel like Fort Lauderdale is nice and it's dope for like a young crowd and everything. I just don't like the fact that, damn, I hate this bump. Oh, I really just do not like the fact that, like, it's not too many nice parts. It's strictly like hood, hood back that way. Um, I, I believe there's a college close by in the area somewhere. And Las Olas, like the strip itself, is like a really nice strip. But like besides that. Everything else is just hood as fuck. And I'm not against hood because, bro, we've all been there, right? Everyone's family's just not super rich, so. But I mean, like, Fort Lauderdale compared to all the other Florida cities is not it. Like, it's not it. It's cool, but it is not it. It is not it, bro. I'm telling you right now. X6. This is the older version. The like new version looks way more sporty. <laughs> and I'm not cutting any of this out, so you, if you guys want, you guys could skip this part of the video but i'm not cutting nothing out we need these minutes man so we're leaving everything in right now i should have turned out this light down there is a tunnel Yeah, this is like the nicer part of Fort Lauderdale right here. Once you pass this side, you're like in the nice part. But the streets here suck. <laughs> On this side, they suck. But yeah, they have some nice houses back there too.
first is gonna do the thing where they just wait. I'm gonna wait for them to go. Okay, man, I see you. I see you. Now it's just gonna be straight exhaust cups the whole time. Well, I hope my thing doesn't scrape. My kit always scrapes on that little dip right there. Every time. Every single time. And someone told me there's a good uh, sushi spot around here. I don't know where that spot is, but. It's supposed to be like on this strip somewhere. If I find it, I'll put it somewhere in this video. If I don't, then you guys know I didn't find it, but it's supposed to be a good sushi spot on here. I swear it's like sometimes it sounds good and sometimes it does that that like loud pop and then sometimes it's just quiet i don't know it's not like it's not consistent i don't know why but i don't know why it even does that can i get in the right lane there we go yeah this is the nice ridge part right here this part is nice some of these girls eating bro how is it that every girl got a booty now bro even those really skinny girls i'm like since when these skinny girls got booty now it's crazy <laughs> like what are they putting in the food man i don't understand ah uh, damn they're gonna be sitting on this That dude took off. I don't know if he watches the videos or something. He took off like he wanted to race. Ah, oh, man. All right, guys. Damn, that sucks. That thing is up right now. Damn. All right, I'm gonna probably get back to because I don't want to waste too much time filming this. Probably turn it back on once they let this boat pass right there because it's really tall so i'll probably put it back on once this boat passes and then i'll get back to you guys all right guys they finally put this thing back it's the bridge isn't it crazy how like so much shit is starting to happen now like um bridges collapsing and all that like this stuff never happened before all of a sudden it's like <laughs> That would kind of makes you like a little nervous when you gotta go on these bridges and stuff like that. I swear these burbles are so much louder in person. I hate that the camera does not pick it up, man. I hate that for real. Oh wait, I'm gonna. But yeah, you guys let me know. Should I go Porsche or should I go? Um, why is this person flashing me? Um, should I go Porsche or should I go Lambo next? Cause that, that's definitely that's definitely the next car. Should I go Porsche or Lambo next? Oh, he's picking up somebody. That's what it was. Mm. 
sure there's no bikers because these bikers be coming out of nowhere, man. Let's see. But yeah, I just can't can't be that way either. I did a photo shoot in the back of there one time. There's so many rich people in this, uh, I, I guess the place where like they dock all of their boats. There is so many rich people just chilling on their boat back there. I don't know if it's like a center for people to just dock their boats and stuff like that, but I don't know, man. A lot of rich people I've seen, let me see. Yeah, right back there, crazy. I cannot believe it. I was like, why is there so many rich people? <laughs> and everybody's on their boats just chilling, eating. I'm like, damn, must be nice. So. Yeah, we've made it to Las Olas, guys. That's where a lot of people... Why is everyone taking their sweet time? There's nobody coming. But, yeah. Um, That's where... So, yeah, a lot of people come here. It's pretty nice, actually. I was surprised it's empty on a Sunday. Usually, Sundays is always packed, too. But... Yeah, this is Las Olas, man. So this is really nice. And I've realized too, it's like, it's not even, um, it isn't even like spring break. A lot of people aren't going to Miami no more since, you know, cops are way too strict. The parking is outrageous. Everyone just comes down here. <laughs> but it's funny, no, like, you don't hear about wild stuff happening down here on spring break, only in Miami. It's like people lose their minds when they're in Miami, but then when they come here, it's like totally fun. So. But yeah, this is Las Olas, guys. This is the infamous Las Olas for those who are not in Florida. They usually got a flea market here uh, Saturday, Sunday. So not just the food here, but um, usually I think it's Saturdays. I don't know about Fridays, but Saturdays they have like a bunch of uh, small little shops there and stuff like that. So it's not too bad, not too bad. These are all the shops down there. It's pretty nice to be honest. Really relaxing. And people from all over come here to visit. If you really want some nice spots, you can literally just pick any spot on the strip. Most of these uh, spots are pretty nice too, so it's not too bad. And there's a lot of good like hotels also so yeah, it's really not that bad really not that bad yeah. how do people not just double park behind each other like he's all up in lane and i forgot someone told me there's a good restaurant on this side, I forgot, forgot what it's called. What was that for a lot called? Nah. It's some other restaurant. But yeah, if you guys ever want some good spots to eat, man, just literally go down the strip and just pick any spot that looks good to you. 100%. Slow poke. More food and 
more beaches, bro. That's literally the vibe. When you come to Las Olas, it's just more food, more beaches. That's the vibes. And somebody bought their own little tent. Look at that, it's pink. That is just wild to me. It is literally pink over there. I'm surprised it's not that crowded though. It usually is packed. Look guys, somebody saw me on the highway. Remember there was a Mustang um, who was following me before in a previous video. So apparently the girl in the passenger seat, she had uh, took a video and she was like, saw your car on the highway, we love it. Shout out to Ari underscore Esperanza. So let's see the video. Let's see if it came out fire, let's see. Oh, that looks so good. Oh my God, that came out so good. See, once you get that 5% and no one can see you, the videos come out even crazier. Appreciate you, Ari. I just wanna thank you. I love it. Shout out to the dope people, man. That's what I'm saying. I freaking love car people. Like, car car people always show love no matter what. Let me save, let me save this because I might even add this clip in, even though it's only like three seconds. I might even add it into this video too, so. I might, honestly. The strip is always packed, especially Sunday. Anytime before five, everybody's outside, man. Everybody is outside. So this is the part of, of the video where it's a little boring. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with this part, but yeah, if you guys made it this far, I appreciate you. Uh, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you want to see some other parts of Florida. I got you. And yeah. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.